building well by hand only needs basic kit, but you won't get far without something good to build off. A good workbench is simple and strong. Strong so the bloody thing stays still while you work. Simple because any excess will become a burden. Trust me on that. I'll be honest with you, I don't get French. They made me do it at school, and I remember telling them, I can't do English yet, so I don't know why you're bothering trying to teach me that. But I do get the French bench. They're solid and simple, and they can be easily scaled to any size. This build will show you that you don't need anything fancy to create a pretty bench. I've cobbled it together with some old joists from a collapsed roof, along with some other odds and sods. You can opt for anything you like, but softwood will certainly do the trick if you're after a fast, cheap build. In traditional fashion, the top's made of wide slabs with the legs joined into it. It's an approach that lets the timber do all its moving over time without giving you any grief. We're building with basic antles, with the odd thick rip sent through the bandsaw. And as I've come to prefer with bench building, you won't need a bench to build this bench. That beauty of a screw forms the vise. We go through the full process of the leg vise build, which you can then follow using a standard metal or wooden screw. I've added a cross as well, which is great for keeping the vise dead simple to use. There's plans included, so you can have a go at knocking one up if you fancy it. Along with the vise, there's a spiked planing stock, and a handful of holes for dogs and old fasts. For me, this is work holding just as it should be. It's a robust bench, quick to build and built for life. I'm really looking forward to putting this thing to work.